Altogether, there was little news and uh, that's what I was worried about uh, after uh, a long uh, delay of 45 days, uh, we didn't learn much more. In fact, uh, the amateur astronomer images that we uh, were mm -hmm. able to watch in recent days were far more informative uh, and they uh, are the instruments that took them cost uh, thousands of dollars, not uh, a billion dollars like the NASA instruments. So. Uh, I, you know, I, I would argue that it was mostly um, a, a, a discussion by NASA officials about what they expected this object to be, but not uh, uh, what the object really is. And uh, as Sherlock Holmes uh, said, uh, an obvious fact is uh, uh, very deceptive because you are ignoring the, no I mean, they basically didn't mention any of the anomalies, the unusual facts about 3 Atlas, like it's huge mass that is a thousand times more than the previous object, a million times more than the first object, and the fact that it moves in the plane of the planets that allowed the NASA observatories to see it, uh, and, you know, that is a, an unusual coincidence. You multiply the probabilities for both of these, you get one in a hundred thousand chance. And then on top of that, there is the unusual composition, the jets. Uh, but the good news is we don't need to wait for NASA to tell us because there will be a flood of data in the coming weeks leading to December 19th when the object comes closest to Earth. And we would figure out the composition, the speed, and the amount of mass coming out in these jets. And once we know that, we can compare it to what we expect from pockets of ice on the surface of a rock. Uh, and if it's much different, it might be thrusters. NASA's much-anticipated briefing on 3i Atlas was supposed to provide new insights, but instead the agency dismissed the object as ordinary. No anomalies, no mysteries, nothing that warranted further attention. But while NASA closed the book, other astronomers have continued opening it wider. Today, a new image of 3i Atlas reveals structures that standard comet physics simply cannot explain. Outgassing should curve toward the sunlit side, radiation pressure should sweep material backward, and rotation should blur jets into broad, fan-shaped plumes. Yet the features emerging from 3i Atlas remain narrow, rigid, and oriented in directions that defy all of those expectations. The only geometry that fits is that these are tracks, linear paths of small bodies that separated from 3i Atlas and continued outward on their own momentum. If they began near perihelion on October 29th, their million-kilometer separation implies velocities around 500 meters per second, far above what casual fragmentation could produce. And their precision, their symmetry, their lack of scatter suggests something far more organized than a natural breakup, which leaves a possibility now hanging over every new observation. These mini objects may not be random debris at all. They may be probes quietly released from a larger structure as it swung around the sun. In the coming weeks, their motion will reveal the truth. Natural debris drifts, probes don't. The stacked image from November 20 was collected without any expectation of unusual features. It was a routine contribution to ongoing photometry and orbit refinement, nothing more. But as the 20 exposures of 100 seconds each left the observer's computers and began circulating through research groups and comet specialists around the world, an undeniable reaction began to spread. Confusion first, then disbelief, and finally a quiet, mounting intrigue. The linear structures embedded in the frame were not wisps of scattered dust one could dismiss with a calibration error. They were clear, they were bright, they were solid in form and geometry, as if drawn with intention against the emptiness of deep space. Measured precisely, the field of view spans 16.7 arc minutes across. At 3i Atlas's current distance of approximately 326 million kilometers from Earth, that corresponds to a physical scale of nearly 1.6 million kilometers captured edge to edge. Within that massive slice of space, two narrow features stretch outward from the nucleus of 3i Atlas, extending to distances on on the order of 1 million kilometers on each side, about three times the distance from Earth to the Moon. They're oriented almost perfectly perpendicular to the Sun object axis, while the tail and anti tail align along that axis as expected. Viewed together, the components form a striking X shaped configuration two features where physics predicts one, and two more where none should appear at all. To astronomers who have spent careers working with comet imagery, measuring dust comae, modeling jet emissions, tracking subfragment motion, the site is almost 
confrontational in its defiance of natural behavior. Dust is unruly. Dust is chaotic. Dust follows rules so consistent that comet morphology is often used to teach solar system physics. When sunlight strikes volatile material, outgassing sends particles outward in a predictable direction, toward the illuminated side, and then trailing back under radiation pressure. Even when comets fracture, their debris clouds expand into uneven fans, shaped by rotation, thermal gradients, and solar wind turbulence. Straight lines on a scale of hundreds of thousands of kilometers simply do not appear in nature without a force guiding them. Here, though, nothing is bending, nothing is diffusing. The lines exhibit no curvature relative to the sun's influence, no gradual spread from thermal or rotational smearing, no disorder that reveals the erratic language of gas and dust. Instead, these lines are everything comet dust is not. Narrow, rigid, symmetrical. They extend in opposite directions with a degree of alignment normally reserved for artificial constructs. Antennas, booms, controlled trajectories, even the reported 16.16-hour rotational period period of 3i Atlas makes their stability more puzzling. Jets released from a rotating body at thermal speeds near 400 meters per second should twist like rope, imprinting motion into the structure. These do not. The simplest interpretation, once natural jets are removed from consideration, is that these are not jets at all. Instead, they resemble tracks, linear paths left not by gas or dust, but by discrete objects that have separated from the main body of 3i Atlas and are now traveling outward under their own momentum. If these smaller bodies detach during or shortly after perihelion on October 29th, their current distances imply relative velocities around 500 meters per second, about 1,800 kilometers per hour. That number alone is a problem. It's it sits far above expected values for natural cometary fragmentation, where typical separation speeds are under 20 meters per second, and even rare violent disintegrations events rarely exceed 50 meters per second. 500 meters per second is the kind of clean, consistent acceleration one might expect from deliberate propulsion rather than chaotic failure. The second problem is just as difficult to explain with natural mechanics, symmetry. In nature, breakups are messy. They generate clouds, sprays, irregular sprays or fragments that scatter into unpredictable formations. Symmetry, particularly symmetry mirrored in opposite directions with near identical length and brightness, is a sign of organization. If the sun is the engine of visible cometary activity, then nothing should emerge perpendicular to its influence, let alone resist that influence over a million kilometer span. Yet these features appear to ignore the sun entirely. They act as if they're following a different hierarchy of forces, one not rooted in solar radiation pressure or thermal dynamics. Even if these were fragments, we must ask how they were ejected, there is no known natural mechanism that can expel matched fragments simultaneously in opposite directions at identical speed and angle without scattering. Explosive fragmentation would eject debris in all directions, not in coordinated streams. Rotational shedding would create spirals or arcs, not precise opposing straight line paths. Sublimation jets could theoretically push pieces off the surface, but jet asymmetry is universal. Rarely, if ever, does a comet align jets so perfectly that they mirror one another in isolation. All known natural explanations fall short of accounting for all three observed properties, straightness, symmetry, and sideways orientation. You can explain one, you might stretch physics to explain two, but three together demands something else. If the visible lines truly trace the trajectories of small objects, their scale implies a significant energy input. At 500 meters per second, chemical propulsion becomes a reasonable benchmark. That velocity is in the regime of spacecraft maneuvering thrusters, not shattered ice. A miniaturized probe using storable propellants could easily achieve such movement if deployed intentionally. And if such deployment occurred near perihelion, where gravitational leverage is greatest and maneuver efficiency best, then the timing makes practical sense. This possibility, cautiously raised by a theoretical astrophysicist, Avi Loeb and others, is not proposed lightly. It is not sensationalism dressed as science. It is a hypothesis built from the elimination of physical models that would otherwise explain such features. It does not claim extraterrestrial technology as fact. It asks whether such a scenario better fits the evidence than the currently accepted cometary models do. 
As extraordinary as the notion of artificial probes may seem, the data itself remains the same. Linear features, symmetrical, extending for a million kilometers each, oriented perpendicular to the expected solar-driven outgassing pattern, consistent with fragment motions on the order of hundreds of meters per second. If one refuses to consider artificial origin, the burden falls upon natural physics to provide a competing explanation with equal power and consistency. Astronomy has confronted interstellar outliers before. In 2017, one eye Oumuamua arrived, an object with no cometary tail, unexpected acceleration, and a distinctly flattened non-gravitational profile. In 2019, two eye Borisov followed, more conventional, resembling known comet populations. With three eye Atlas, the catalog grows to a trio and patterns may begin to emerge. The question is whether this third visitor conforms to the familiar behavior of Borisov or continues the anomalies of Oumuamua. If these sideways features persist under follow-up observations, if they remain coherent and maintain trajectory independent of radiation pressure, if they refuse to drift or deform like natural debris, then the community will face a turning point. Natural debris drifts. Probes don't. Observations scheduled in the coming weeks will be decisive. As 3I Atlas moves farther from the sun, solar pressure should dominate the motion of dust-sized particles. If those lines contain only dust, their structure should warp and dissolve, curving away, thickening, fading non-uniformly. If they are instead driven by their own inertia, maintaining direction and form, deviation from solar influence will stand out clearly. High-resolution imaging from both amateur and professional telescopes will be crucial. Measurements of the brightness profile along the lines could reveal whether the material is composed of micron-sized dust grains or larger solid bodies. Monitoring their apparent angular change over time may detect differential acceleration indicative of spacecraft control, or at least independence from radiation pressure. The possibility of tracking separate condensation points along the features may confirm whether discrete objects lead the linear features. Even spectroscopic attempts could look for reflection signatures that differ from typical comet dust. The scientific process will not leap to extraordinary conclusions. No responsible researcher will argue for artificial origin without eliminating every realistic natural option. But scientific honesty requires that all viable hypotheses remain on the table until observation confirms or excludes them. There is also the matter of timing. If this event continues to evolve, the opportunity for close analysis will be brief. The object is already receding from Earth after its closest approach on November 13. Image brightness will decline quickly as distance grows. The longer astronomers wait, the harder it becomes to gather decisive data. Cameras must point now while the geometry remains favorable and the features remain bright enough to analyze. The deeper significance of this moment lies not only in what it may reveal about 3i Atlas, but also in how it reflects our readiness to interpret what the cosmos sends us. If there are interstellar objects carrying technology, whether ancient relics or functioning devices, they may not announce themselves loudly. They may appear as subtle deviations in expected physics, challenging scientists to look twice rather than look away. The new image challenges us exactly like that. It is not a flashing beacon in space. It is a quiet anomaly that resists classification. It does not prove anything by itself. It merely refuses to fit into the boxes that nature has trained us to expect. For now, astronomers are watching. Some do so quietly, not yet ready to speak publicly. Others do so openly, acknowledging both the mystery and the limitations of the data. But regardless of individual viewpoints, the community agrees on one thing. The behavior of these sideways features must be tracked meticulously in the coming days. If they remain symmetrical, the implication is profound. If they deviate, bending under sunlight like dust is expected to do, the tension eases, and the anomaly fades into normalcy. The cosmos has given us a testable puzzle. The outcome will be empirical. The answer will not come from speculation or excitement. It will come from patient observation and careful analysis. Each new image, each new brightness curve, each new trajectory plot will sharpen the picture. And if those lines keep pointing where the sun says they shouldn't, if they hold course with a precision that dust has never known, then we may be witnessing something entirely new in our exploration of the universe. Nature will reveal the truth through motion. The trajectories will tell the story that images alone cannot. Over the next few weeks, we will learn whether these are merely wayward fragments or something deliberately set loose, whether they drift erratically like shattered debris or move with purpose.